Hello, good evening. Sorry, I'm a little bit last minute. Bear decided he wanted to start reading and you never you never come between Bear and his reading book. Because it's, it's one of those um, things that never happen very often. Um, so yeah, good evening. It is Monday, so it's Monthly Mate Monday. Um, I'm hoping we have no internet gremlins this week. Such wood. There we go, such wood. Um, hi, Noala. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to have a look at Monthly Make Monday. Um, and then, but I thought I'd also just whip through the cards, the samples as well, because I know the internet was really glitchy last week and we didn't really get a chance um, to have a look at those cards properly. So I thought I'd give them a, well, a proper look at them. And then we'll have a bit of a play. I have been organised and I have got my colours all set out. So hopefully it won't take us too long. So that's my plan. Let me just go back onto that one. There we go, right, I think we're all all good. Evening, Alice. So, should we have a look at the cards first? I think so. Let me move these bits out of the way. I've got so much on my desk. Mr. Rue was using it to help pack orders today. And he left it in the right state. No, I did I might I might have moaned a little bit because he did um get a brush and come and sweep up. So, Maybe it was worse than I moon. So yes, he swept, swept, well, he swept this end, not the other end. Anyway, let's have a quick look at these samples made um, using our monthly make for this month. Didn't wipe my desk down. Um, so first up, oh, we're a bit close. You can tell he's been on this desk, can't you? There we go. Close, close, close. There we go, right. There we go, you can see everything now. So, lovely one from Mum. We've got our lovely numbers. I love these numbers. They're really, really useful. Um, and then we've got our corners. Those little teeny tiny corners. But so great for things like this. But look, they're a little different. So these are done in brown and these are done in green. Yet they look a different size. They're not. They're the same size. They just look a different colour. But they're not. I promise. Right, so there's the first one. And then I will whip through these because, like I say, we saw them last week, but I don't know how much we saw because, like, the internet was glitching. Um, so another one of Mum's lovely blue one this time. I love adding glossy accents to them. They are fab, aren't they? And can you see we've just got a few of those very, very pale. I don't even know what colour she's using in the background there. It's that pale. Right in background. Just there. And then this one. So this is using Distress Oxide. I think there's only a couple of colours on that one. Um, so spritz your stamp and then pop it on there. There should be a YouTube coming up on that very soon. We've then got this one. This one I know one is on YouTube already. A quick make using this one. Love this idea. Two borders. And um, we've got our little corners. Who says they have to be corners? They could be centrepieces as well, can't they? So there's that one. So again, lovely brush show in background. I did, I really got into my brush show using this one. And then on this one, I think this was today's, wasn't it? Uh, today's quick make. Um, you can see that lovely brush show. It was moss green in background, then our numbers. Gives you a great looking background, doesn't it? There's that one. Um, and then another one using that gorgeous border stamp. I think we're going to use that tonight because it. I shouldn't have a favourite stamp, should I? But I think it's that one. So there's, there it is down the side of your card, and then this one, Mum's used it across the tags. And can you see? It just looks to me this is just an absolute landscape. Yeah, so there's that one. And then, sorry, my computer's being a bit glitchy on me. And then this one. Oh, you can see, it's got a pocket. How cool is that? A card with a pocket. Very fancy, isn't it? There's that one. And then... Which one's next? Our lovely little numbers. You're all being very, very quiet tonight. We've got our numbers in the background. So she's done a very watery um, brush show background. And then she's just popped... Those numbers in different colours on background. And then look, she's just taken two out of it to do that 12. Fabulous. Then we've got another gorgeous one using those little teeny tiny corners. And you should like those little ones. Two little panels on our card. Do you like that one? 
and then finally a big version little big looks really cool doesn't it right so they are the samples we will be sharing as many as we can over the next few weeks on a monday over on facebook and insta so there we go right so today i thought oh bear with me let me come out and go back in i thought we would get all grungy with this make because i think it's quite a cool one to get grungy with Right, I'm back. Well, you're really quiet today, otherwise I can't see my comments. One or two. So I thought we we're gonna get really grungy. So I have got oh, a hair on my card. Good evening, Mum. Just been showing you our samples again because we didn't get to see them last week. Um well, we kind of got to see them, but we didn't. It was a nearly but didn't. Oh, sorry to hear that, Nuala. Hope you're feeling better soon. Um, so 5 7 in front of me. Just cut it down a teeny tiny bit. Because we're going to cover it in ink. I'm going to roll my sleeves up. But pull my other ones down. Because. It's a bit chilly in here today. It's been a lovely day outside. And then. It's gone really chilly. We did say it's going to freeze tonight. Didn't they? Oh, hi Alison. I don't think we're going to do much with that piece of kitchen roll, are we? Let's get a pot of one, shall we? So I'm going to grab um, a piece of kitchen roll. In front of me, I have picked up three Distress Oxides that I don't normally use. This isn't a normal colour palette for me, so I'm having a bit of um, an adventure. Experiment, not adventure. Adventure is a different thing, isn't it? <laughs> That's close. Adventure close close enough so um an experiment we have a bit of an experiment so i've got tea dye vintage photo and ch chipped sapphire are my three colors i'm going to work with tonight because i want it to look really grungy and i think these three should work together we will see so always starting with my palest first i'm going to pull out my tea dye There you go, it's a very juicy one. So I know it's juicy because it's absolutely covered my card. So I'm just going to... Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Got an inky pinky already and we've only just started. That's not rude, is it? That's like more than rude. I can't even think of a word. It's more than rude. Well, I can't, but I can't say it again. Go. So let's get our tea dye down first. I love this colour. One I don't use very often at all. In fact, I know I don't use it often because I found it in my shelf behind me. Right, so we've done our tea dye. We're going to go in. You'll notice I always do the same kind of um, positioning. So my three blobs. And then we're going to go in with our vintage photo. I've only just said them as well. See, again, a really juicy one. So I'm just going to pop it down gently and then start to add it. I know it, sounds re it seems really weird as well, doesn't it? I've got two that are very similar and then we've got that pop of the blue. But I think it should work. I think it should. If it doesn't, it's going to be an interesting one to try and fix. We can always fix things, can't we? That's part of the fun. Right. Okay, we're going to be bits of tissue. I think that should be okay, shouldn't it? So I'm just going to turn my tissue again. Hi Claire. And we're going to go with this pop of chip sapphire. Now I know this one's a juicy one. Oh, it's very dark. I'm going in. I am. I'm going in. Okay. 
It might be too blue. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone with grey. I'm having that moment of regret now. We all know it, don't we? Wink. Well, we suddenly get that moment of ooh, wrong colour. Oh, I don't know. Look at that. It's starting to come together a bit, isn't it? Don't worry, we're not going to leave it looking like this at all. Because at the moment it's looking a bit eeky. You know, not looking great, is it? It will. We'll have some faith. So we've got our colours. Let me just tidy up a little bit. Oops. A lovely coloured desk. <laughs> oh, look at them colours. Nice. I love that blue, doesn't it? The blue is it? Yeah. Mm, not sure. It's not my usual palette, so I'm a bit. I'm trying to think of a. Um, polite way of saying it. Nervous, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> can tell I've been sat talking, well, talking to myself, talking to Mr. Rue all day, can't you? Right, so, I want to do some, I'm going to have to use that one. So I'm going to grab a bit of a brush because I want to bring in, I want to, mm, no I'm not, I'm going to start off. It's looking a bit too neat and tidy, isn't it? Apprehensive. Oh, I like that one. That's a big word for a Monday night. Surprised I could read it as well. Apprehensive, I do. I like that one. You're very good with your words, you guys. I don't do big words normally. Right, I am. I'm going to do a bit of a splat. You could use one of your stamps. So we could use our numbers. Or you could use one of your no i'm going to use my hand so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do really big splats on the here so you could use your spots your dots any of your stamps i just want to break it up a bit it's looking a bit too neat and tidy for my liking at the moment oh <laughs> finish blotting it before I've wiped my desk, shouldn't I? Can always go in again if we want to. Which I think I will quite enjoyed that. Yeah. So I put all that lovely colour down and then I'm just taking it all off. I do think it looks quite cool. Oh, I've loads on there this time. Isn't it funny when you're doing this? You think you've got all the water and then you just see patches that you've missed. So you look at that. Yes. Coming together. Now before we do my heat my dryer. I think yeah, yeah, I'm gonna dry this off. Yeah, and then we might go back in with a bit more of that blue because I am liking that blue now. You convinced me we like the blue. Actually, the, the colours are actually working quite well together. I've mixed another bit there. Remember to always dry the back of your card as well. There we go. Oops. Pop that back over there. Now, um, I'm liking that blue. I think we're going to go with a bit more blue. So, I just want a little bit of acetate. Oh, nearly disconnected you all then. That wasn't a good thing to do, was it? Right, 
so I've just found a little bit of acetate here I just want a few little bits of my blue that I've just missed the acetate with whoops see you ready for this there you go there's no comment really is there for that so I'm just going to spritz it This is where it could turn on a penny. You know where you go from, ooh, not too bad to, oh, ooh, I should have stopped. I'm actually quite liking that. I think we're going to go back in with the brown in this bottom corner. Bam, I'm just getting really inky at the moment. Hi, Catherine. We're just playing those colours again were just to remind me because I quite actually like them T Dye Vintage Photo and Chip Sapphire they are kind of working look at this colour we've got here <laughs> Quite a big puddle there. Oh, no, it did. I didn't think that was going to dry up. Thought that was a bit of tissue, it wasn't. It was a bit of ink that hadn't dried. Right. And what I do want to do. So I want to go back in with a bit more of that brown. So let's grab my acetate again. Make sure it's not got any blue on it. There we go. Just grab a little bit of my vintage photo. Might need to go a little bit darker, but you never know. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Oops. I don't know if I actually want to do much more on this because it's looking quite a nice background. I'm at that point where am I going to mess it up? So I've gone from the opposite corner this time. Opposite, yeah, that's the word. Okay. And on top. <laughs> In other words, I'm just plonking it everywhere. Right. I'm going to step away from the inks now, I think. I think it's the other side that has my ink on it. quite cool isn't it <laughs> I kind of knew what I wanted it to look like but not a hundred percent and bear in mind this did start as a white piece of car so dry that back off as well them now we are going to grab Ooh, decision time now what I want to do is I want to use this gorgeous gorgeous border I just love this one and we're gonna make it pip and pop so we're gonna stamp it on white and cut it out I might just do it down the side Oh, too many decisions. So anyway, I want to put my numbers in back, my background. I don't think it really matters where we put our numbers, does it? Because then we'll just put our border where we want it in a minute. Sounds a bit like a plan, doesn't it? So, I want to keep to this same kind of grungy palette 
So I'm not going to add any more colours. I've stuck to my tea dye, my vintage photo and my chip sapphire. And we're going to keep to those. I am liking this blue. I know I said I wasn't too sure about it. But I am actually starting to like it with those two other colours. I am thinking I should have maybe used um, Rusty Hinge because that's got a hint of red to it as well. So that could look quite nice. If you haven't, you know, if you haven't got the ones I'm using. So I'm just using my zero to four. And then we'll go back in with our five, five to nine. <laughs> Sorry. It's little things that make you giggle, isn't it? the fire trucks outside oh please it is isn't it and that's what i love a lot of people say oh you know it, it's having um backgrounds and things to start with actually for me the best thing is having that white piece of paper and just throwing ink at it so absolutely it is looking at where you came from and just playing with your inks it's amazing what you can do as well That one right and then we're going to go back in do i stay with the blue i think i'm going to go to my brown for this one and i'm going to go to my brown so i'm going back to my vintage photo evening pauline oh i'm sorry to hear that pauline you take care of yourself right let me get that bit off there can you see i've got ink on here we don't want that in case well, it doesn't really matter because my background's a bit grungy, isn't it, anyway? And then I'm going to do exactly the same as I did before. Yes, I think it's working, isn't it? So I'm going to come in now, do something here, you knew I couldn't just stick to it could I? See if we turned it we could put our bits and bobs that way can we? Oh there we go, that could be the plan. like making it off as you go along is there so we have got oh no i wanted to be numbers right i need to dry this off and i actually need it quite dry because now i want to go over with some bossing powder and hopefully not make too much of a mess Now bear in mind, embossing over um, distress oxide is always a bit of a challenge. You need it to be perfectly dry. Now I'm too impatient for all that. warm my fingers up at the same time. I don't know whether it'll work. We will see. Right. I am I am liking this now. I'm thinking these guys are gonna come in a bit like that maybe. Remember we're gonna be cutting it out in white when we stamped it in a minute. 
I'm half tempted to don't know whether to pop them across. I might do. I'm going to go the opposite way with them. I can't decide basically if I want to put them in this like mix of all my different numbers. Well, actually, turn it round and put them going that way. I think I might put them going that way. We'll see where my embossing powder lands as to which one we do. Right. Do, do, do. And can I see the embossing powder I want? No, I can't. There we go. Oh, this isn't time. Raven's night. Yeah, I think Raven's night for this one. So I'm going to go for a grey. And I'm not going to bother with an anti-static bag, even though I've just found it. Whoops. Let me move that back out of my way because I don't need it when I've got my big tub out. Pop that over there. You know it's always dangerous stuff, isn't it, when I get my embossing powders out. So I'm going to start with five to nine. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to hang it off the edge of the paper because I think, I prefer things hanging off the edge. Bearing in mind this is likely to stick to other bits as well because, like I said before, yeah, see, it's just got bits and pieces around it, but that's okay. I might leave it on actually. Can you see? You can see down here, it's just clung on to some of my other oxide, but I quite like that. I feel a bit distressed. So far, all we've used is three oxides and our number stamp. Oh, and a bit of water. So again, I'm just going to line this one up. Let's track of where I was putting it there. Oh, that's going to look quite nice. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind in the end. What we're going to do is we're going to come back down here. I think about there. We'll do it. Is that one? Put some embossing powder on it before it dries. Not that it's hot enough in here to dry quickly, but... You never know. That one time you don't put your embossing powder on. I'll dry too quick once. And then I only need to ink up my five and my six, I think. Come and pop them back in here. Yeah. Right, get me spoon back in. I'll leave that there in case we need it for something else. I don't think we will. But you never know, do you?
There we go. I love as well, I don't know if you can see. But just down here, can you see around the dribble? It's just picked up a little bit of the embossing powder. That's really cool. Right, so we've got our base now. And then we are going to stamp our um, border. So I'm going to move that to one side. I am looking at how that's looking though. That was Raven's Night that I used. That one. I'm going to use a poly mount for this bit. Where did I put my stamp there? Because I still not unpacked my bag from last week. I know. I'm naughty. It is a gorgeous one, isn't it? Yep, it was one of the um, the smelly ones we did. That doesn't sound attractive, does it? Smelly power does. But it does. It has an aroma. But you can't get them now. So if you've got them, it's like a limited edition. So I am going to use my black. Ooh, do we emboss? Do we emboss? Do we emboss? No. Mm, no, because we're going to gloss the accent something on it. So we're going to stamp this one. And then we're going to cut it out. I don't think it's going to be too hard to cut out, is it? again I always say there's like only one or two bits of anything I make that needs um, like proper stamping as I call it and this is that bit so I want this bit to look right and I want the sentiment to look right and that's it the rest of it doesn't really matter there we go um, I'm going to stamp another one. I'm going to grab a different ink pad though because it's not as juicy as I'd like it to be. I need to really mark which is my non-juicy one. See that one's a lot better. You can hear it kissing the stamp. See? You can hear the suction. I'm trying to line it up because it doesn't really matter, does it? And then we're just going to add a little bit of shading to them. Might only do one for now. Let's we'll see if we need the second. There we go. So I'm going to do this one first because it's nice, nice and crisp. There's another one that's running out of it. So the reason I'm drying this one is because it's versus fine clair, so it takes a little bit longer to dry, and I don't want to put a big inky pinky on what I want to be crisp. And I'm not going to... In my head I'm saying, do I add, am I going to add some colour to it or am I just going to do some shading? I think it's just going to be shading. So then it'll stand out a bit better on my back. Well, it'll stand out on my background. Because if I start using colours from the background, it'll then start to pull it into the background, won't it? At least that makes sense in my mind. Yep. Right, so I'm just going to add. Just a little bit of shading to it. 
And there's definitely no right or wrong when it comes to this bit. It's wherever you fancy putting it, really. I'm doing my best to try and not touch the image below. There we go. Just because I don't want to get inky pinkies and smudge it. Mm, I think I'm going to go for it. Ooh, I might take that whole section. Just like that. pop a little bit in this one as well. She's feeling a little bit left out at the moment. like that. I think I'm going a bit overboard with my um, charcoal pencil. Yes, I should have probably stopped a little bit ago. You know, I might as well just carry on. So. Yeah, but I probably should have stopped about three bits ago. Right, so all I'm going to do is just cut it out but with a little border around it. Now Mum would be fab at this because she loves a fussy cutting. And actually I should be taking a little bit more care because it's actually going to stand out on this background because we've got such a big, bright, colourful background. It is going to stand out because it is white and just very um, simple in comparison. You know what, I'm actually going to try my bigger scissors and see if I can get squishy ones. So, have you seen that we've started doing some um, quick make it videos on a Monday morning? So the idea is every Monday morning um, you will get a make it video on how we've made, well, how I've done a couple of the samples. So hopefully we'll give you a little bit of a, a mojo plus burst even whatever words again not my friend especially when i'm cutting out i'm in charge of scissors and trying to talk should be a rule against it shouldn't there oops don't look too closely and nearly chopped a whole dome off it does to me this it, the more I work with this one, it's starting to look more and more like a landscape. A dome in London. I think it's that that it's reminding me of. Now, I should have taken my time with that. <laughs> I need to change the music, do I? It's, believe me, out of the options I've got, that is one of the better ones. Right. So, there we go, that's starting to pop. You can always turn the music off. <laughs> I, to be fair, I have driven the kids mad with that. They'll ask me what I'm doing and if I'm in the middle of editing a video, I'll just put the music on and they kind of, you, you see the face and it's like, right, I'm going. Okay. So it does work as a bit of a deterrent at bedtime as well because I'll sit there and if Bear's messing about I'll say can I come you know you know you want to come and get involved in what I'm doing it's like right okay and I'll put that music on and all of a sudden it disappears back you know it's 
that now, I'll go to bed now. Oh, yep, good choice. You can come and listen to my music or you can Too many options. Oh, I think it's going to go there. I want another one though. Do I want another one? I think I do. I do, don't I? <laughs> yeah, you can come and help me. You can come and help me with my me, with me music. And as soon as I hear it, it's starting off. So saying that, I was doing um, our new, the one, the video for the retro makes, the retro release, which has got different music. I've not dried this one, have I? Mm, let's see if it works. It's not as crisp though. Sorry. It's work. You can tell now it's working, so I want to get it nearly perfect. As close to perfect as what I get mine. Yeah, so I was doing the video for the um, retro release we've got coming out later this week. And my usual trick of just turning the music on, and it was a different music, and they both just stood there, like just shocked. Like, oh! Then when they realised what I was doing, they walked away again. <laughs> so let's put that on there. Yeah, I'm only going to do a little bit of this because I don't think we need much in that top corner. And to be fair. I'm going to use birthday, I think, on it. But it would also look nice in your journal or um, what do you call it? Journal or a canvas or something like that. I'm not impatient much, but I can start, I'm starting to see it working now. My idea is working. It doesn't happen very often. It's looked really nice as well, raised with foam pads, but I haven't got any foam. Well, I've got four foam pads left. I need to get ordering some. Do I love it enough to give it my last foam pads? Used to be a chocolate bar with that, didn't there? Not about foam pads, but about, I can't even remember what it was. And if it's stewy chocolate, no, I don't love them enough to give them any of my chocolate. Go. Let's have a little bit in here. I don't think we'll be going that far back with this one. I do love the charcoal pen. Just roll over. That was it. Oh, it's the same roll over too. I've not had a roll over in ages. I'll tell you what I did have the other day. One of those um. What's it called? Double decker. Oh, it's like half the size they used to be. And I didn't have a minis one before you say that. It wasn't one of the minis, it was meant to be a proper one. But that's a proper size double decker. Whew. So I'm not going to be, I'm probably going to start about here with this one, oops, didn't mean to go that close, <laughs> I got too excited then. Got this again so it doesn't. Maybe I'll just use that for our sentiment in a minute. So 
again, just going around edge, leaving that little small border. Ooh, I nearly cut its antenna off then. A bit mean, isn't it? I know we don't need the rest of it. We only need a little bit. Probably don't even need the antenna that I, I chopped off rather rudely. Oh, well, I might need that antenna. See, I'm fancying quite a lot there, but no, I'm going to take a little bit off. Oh, 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 now. Oh, do you see where I'm going? Right. Mm -hmm. Card. I don't want that either. I want some black card. That's one. Oh, oh, oh. Is it black? Is it black? It will do. It will do. Oops, I've just lost YouTube. Let me find YouTube again. Oh, hello to Cornflower Crafts over on YouTube. Good evening, my dear. Right. Yeah, working. Yay. You can tell I'm getting excited now. But what I do need... I'm going to be super brave. Ooh, two lots of embossing in one night. Not sure if that is a good thing or not. We will see. Now, is this white or is this clear? I think it's white. It smells like white. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this now? That's a good thing. Oh, yes, this is definitely white. It's got a whiff. Ah, there we go. Oh, no, I didn't. So I just powdered that everywhere. I didn't. I did that the other day. I picked something up. You know when you're not really thinking what you're doing? Pick something up. It's like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. And it went everywhere. So Mr. Ru I don't know whether I should say that or not. Mr. Rue was helping me pack today. <laughs> and he picked up. Uh, he had a massive stack. I mean, like, it was probably about... 30 stamps and he tried to be clever like you do and he picked it went to pick it up in one and I was like nah that's not gonna work and you know when you think it and it's like I should have said it and next thing all these stamps just went poof, everywhere <laughs> yeah he was picking them up by himself <laughs> yeah oh sorry Cornflower it's um it's our um scented embossing powders so it smells like vanilla, the white one. I know that probably sounded really weird, wasn't it? It smells like white. It does. It does smell like white. So. <laughs> See, that makes a bit more sense now, doesn't it? To be fair, it doesn't really matter if this looks a bit distressed, does it? Oh, should I try and be really clever? Oh, how clever do we think we can be tonight, ladies? Happy birthday. I think we're going to try and be really clever. Hmm. If it goes wrong, just going to put our happy birthday on there. We will see. Right. Oh, wish me luck. I'm going in. I don't know why I let embossing powder psych me out so much. I literally look like my nemesis. I actually used my, um, what do you call it, die cutting machine the other day. And it worked. I know, I was surprised too. Not that it worked, that it actually I got it to work if that makes sense. Right, but a happy birthday on there. Please work, please work. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it. Just in case. 
me a rather fragrant card this one because we've had our Ravens Night and now we've got a bit of vanilla um, antique, no, vintage white isn't it I think. It's not got the label on the side of it. See, it's not just me, Noella thinks they're scary too. See I'm not alone. They're not scary. Well they are. I was having this conversation with another um, another crafter the other week. What kind of machine do I have? It's a little green one. It's a little I think it is. I told you it's an old one, it's all faithful. I only get stuck with things occasionally. Ooh, nah, ooh. I've just realised we're working with oxides, aren't we? Ha ha ha. You all just heard that penny drop then, didn't you? It's like, oh, we can. But can we find our little chopper? Now that is the question. It was in my box the other day. Can I possibly not? Oh, it is, it's right there. make sure it's dry. Done that before now. So we're going to chop this bit down. I've left a bit of a board. Oh. Thereabouts will do, won't it? Oh, not all the way up there. Let's take a little bit more off. There we go. Ooh. Actually, um, when Mr. Ree was like tidying up after, well, one making a mess in my desk and um, the whole like stamp situation where he threw them everywhere, he ended up emptying my bin as well. Ooh. There's reasons why comes to help. Ha ha, look at that! <laughs> I do get excited about the smallest things, don't I? What I am going to do though, and why I suddenly went, ooh, I know why. Look at that. Doesn't take much, does it? It's looking quite cool. Obviously we're going to chop, we're going to chop its legs off. It's antennas off or whichever bits and bobs it, it wants chopping off. But before we do that, where are my inks from before? I've got my vintage photo, where's my other one's gone? There. Or oh, tea dye, oh vintage photo, tea dye. I think we're gonna go no we're not, we're gonna go tea dye. So pop a bit on there. Ooh. I've just put that in my anti-static bag bits. My um, what am I doing? My um, my ink pad's not going to be happy with me, is it? Popping it in my anti-static bits. Right, all I'm doing is trying to pick up a little bit of that oxide. Now, bear in mind, I've already heat set this, so I'm just going to have to heat it up quite slowly. What I'm going to do. Yeah. No, well, that's a perfect idea. Matte it in white as well. So if you notice, I'm heating it from behind, so it's not quite as hot on that embossing powder. Come on. I'm just going to move it away so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. I don't like having the heat gun facing me. I always in, um, heat emboss from the top. There we go. So can you see that lovely oxide around the edges? How cool is that? 
Right, now we need some white. No, we scrapped from before, it's not big enough. That's rude. Rude, rude, rude. That should be big enough though. So. I'm going to I'm gonna use a bit of red tape so we can see this on here. red tape in the world as well. Oh, I don't think that threw me nails. Oh, it came off quite easy. We'll mock, knock it. Oh, I've got a dirty edge. Let's put that bit out not We might even get the white doodle pen out. I know. You thought he'd escaped the white doodle pen. Don't think so. I think we need some doodledge. There we go. Oh, come on. Me lining it up by hand working tonight. I must have wonky eyes in tonight. There we go. So them in my empty bin. Oh, empty bin. Oh. Like a treat. It's a small thing, isn't it? So, what I'm looking for now is I have got that one, but I want my big fat one. Not that I'm being picky. Oh, I've got a poly plate stuck. I don't think I can be that picky because I can't find me the white one. So we will use this one instead. So I would have liked my number 10, but I don't know where he's gone. So we're going to use our number one, uh, number eight instead. <sighs> Anti static bag gubbins everywhere. I shouldn't mock him, he's doing quite well actually. A few little lines, nothing to something a bit like that, just like that. And then we're going to pop this right in the middle. Hmm. See if my glue will come out of it, won't we'll use that tape again. I know I'm being brave and tape and oh maybe it's always a good sign when you hear your glue make that noise isn't it, it means you haven't quite gunked it up I'll pop that on there so I pop that right slap bang in the middle we're then going to take that's the one with the duff edge but to be fair I've just bent the other one as well so there you go, just done, done that one's an antenna in now. No, that one's got to go up there because I've not cut it out. And these guys. Oh, it's kind of working. So I'm just using my cosmic shimmer just because that's what's on my desk. It just gives you a little bit of wiggle, not much, but just enough. There we go. I'm trying to put some glue on my antenna and I missed. I think, where have I gone to on that? I've gone to about there. Mm, I've not cut that bit out. Are you really going to notice that bit I've not cut out? Well, you are now because I've just pointed it out to you. But I've got an oozer. Let me just hold that for a second so we don't go oozing everywhere. There we go, that's looking cool, isn't it? Right, we're going to flip flop this over. 
Oh, I've got a cook that cack handed. Yeah, I'm just going to take this one off as well. Nope, it's going to throw that way, I'm afraid. But normally I'd have gone up to the big guillotine and took that off, so I knew I've got it all in line. But then that will just go on top of your base card. Like, so I do want to pop foam pads behind that. Because I do think that'll look quite cool. Oh, let me get my glue out of the way. It's casting a shadow. How rude. Then the last thing I want to do. Not that one. It's that one. It's not. Maybe it's that one. <laughs> Don't know what it is. Right. So last little bit. I just want to add a teeny tiny little bit of glossy accents. And Mr. Ruse actually converted me to these smaller ones because... I'm finding them a lot easier. They don't seem... Oh, actually, I've probably just jinxed myself, haven't I? They don't seem to gunk up half as much. I know, shocking. When my hands are playing up, I can still squeeze. Should we do, should we do that a bit as well? Oh, well, we are now because it's just squirted on it. But I do think this stamp set just cries out for glossy accents, doesn't it? Absolutely. Right. I want to do different bits. So. <laughs> I'm just saying I want to do different bits. And I've just gone to do exactly the same bit again. Silly Billy. I'm going to come in here. Oops. Like that. It's blowing bubbles at me. I don't know if you can quite see. It's because I shook it up getting all excited. I don't recommend shaking up your glossy accents. There we go. So I've just popped a little bit of glossy accents in there as well. But I don't think it needs any more, does it? So in the background there we have our oxides, which were tea dye, vintage photo and um, chip sapphire. Yep, so that's what's created that background. So we put, put loads of colour down, then we took a a bit away with our splashes we could have used to stamp something like dotties or one of the other textures so imagine like the um, distress panel in the background of that that'd look cracking but it's monthly mate monday so we only use what's in the box and um, we did that and then we went on with a bit of a put down with some more oxides that have been squirted to get these lovely watery effects in there we then stamped over the top with our numbers our distress numbers as you can see they're just in the background here that was in our vintage photo and our chip, uh, chip, uh, chip sapphire. Why can I not remember that name? Chip sapphire. I've moved it so I can see it again now. Um, and then we just did a little bit of embossing down here. There's just so much going on. Yeah. And then we stamped our border stamp onto white card, just with black. Nothing more special than that. A little bit of um, charcoal pencil in there and cut it out dead simple yeah and then we just stamped happy birthday and embossed it really well it's taken a bit of time to do but it was an easy one to do wasn't it i think it was anyway so <laughs> i do i like that one it does look good oh thank you all thank you so that is it for me tonight I just never put my arm in it then, didn't I? That's not a good good thing to do. Never put your arm in your glossy accents. No, no, no. Oh, thank you, Alice. Um, yeah, you don't want to be putting your arm in your glossy accents. It doesn't like coming out of clothes for some reason. Anyway, that is it for me tonight. I really hope you enjoyed that. I definitely did. 
I love it when you get an idea and just keep playing. And how many times do I go, oh no, we're going to do this instead. Um, but I, I really enjoyed doing that one. I think it looks pretty cool. And who'd have thought tea dye, vintage photo and chip sapphire is one of my new go-to colours because I think it looks really cool together. It does. <laughs> enjoyed that. Sorry, I'm carried away now, aren't I? Um, so, um, I'm trying to think what else we've got coming up this month's retro make uh, retro stamps will be launching later on this week we'll be back on monday for more monthly make fun because it's a whole day now of month of um monthly make inspiration um and um, keep an eye out for the videos um like noelle says the music can get a little bit annoying but not as annoying as my dulcet tones so. <laughs> um so it could be worse you could have my dulcet tones versus annoying music tough choice there anyway thank you all for joining me tonight um i've had loads of fun i have really enjoyed that i'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get some foam pads ordered um so i can get that stuck together and I'll, then i can take a picture of it yeah really enjoyed that thank you for joining me um back next monday for some monthly make fun um, and keep an eye out for some more quick make videos um, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you all very soon. <laughs> While well, I was saying you can turn the music off. You can. You can indeed turn the music off because it does get very annoying. Um, but I hope they're providing some information, uh, some inspiration as well. <laughs> um, so that's it. Take care, stay safe, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.